as the wars raged in Iraq and Afghanistan, WTOC made its own commitment to the American troops fighting in the battle. We would greet every soldier on their homecoming. We would support the families waiting here at home. We would attend every memorial service to a soldier lost in battle. WTOC's commitment flowed from the corner office, from one man, from General Manager Bill Cathcart. Bill came to WTOC in 1986 and said famously that we would burrow into the fabric of the community. His tool for accomplishing that was news, which blossomed from a half hour at 6 and 1 at 11 to today's seven hours of news a day. Along the way, Bill assumed leadership positions in the community, heading the Chamber of Commerce and serving on boards without number. Before 9-11, when the military bases were faced with a drawdown, Bill led the charge, was boots on the ground, in defending Fort Stewart and Hunter Field, home of the legendary 24th and 3rd Infantry Divisions. One of the Hunter Field garrison commanders was Colonel Jose Aguilar, now stationed in Afghanistan. I wanted to thank you for, uh, for all your mentorship while I was there at, as a garrison commander at Hunter Army Airfield. Apologize I can't be there today. Uh, congratulations on this huge honor. And from all our soldiers, sailors, airmen, marine, and coast guardsmen, uh, thank you for all you do for them and for our families. You truly are a hero in our eyes. Uh, you do great things for us in word and deed. Somewhat off the beaten path of the Savannah market is Paris Island, South Carolina where they turn men and women into Marines in a grueling, torturous process that creates one of the best fighting forces in the world. They have a motto in the swampy humidity of Paris Island, a motto that fits the man today being inducted into the Georgia Association of Broadcasters, Hall of Fame, Semper Fi.